The internet is full of mysteries, and some are creepy and strange. In this new series to the channel, we will be going through those riddles, enigmas, and mysteries of the internet. But before that, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. The mystery of the Plague Doctor video has, well, plagued Reddit and the internet since 2015. On October 12, 2015, tech and science news site Gadgets posted about having received a DVD in the mail. John Eric, or Johnny, Kroblicker, the owner of Gadgets, wrote a piece for his website about the content of the video he received. Kroblicker of Gadgets had received a strange package in the mail, sent from Poland, later finding out that it came specifically from Warsaw back in May. The package contained a DVD-R with a sequence of capital and lowercase letters, which he thought was to be a product key for a game or some sort of program. However, it wasn't a game or software but a very creepy video full of hidden symbolism and images. On October 13th, a day later, a redditor by the name of Tropical Johnsons posted a link to Gadget's piece on the r slash creepy subreddit, and this is where the video hit the mainstream. r slash creepy leapt on it, working to decode the video, and from there, it only grew. Hackaday wrote a piece about the article written over on Gadgets on October 16th. Then, on October 19th, The Daily Dot, Gizmodo, and even The Washington Post all covered it. The Gadgets piece wasn't actually the first time the video had been uploaded online. A post on the 4chan board x slash paranormal appeared on May 9th, 2015, titled Secret Messages? Aliens? Huh? was posted with a Dropbox link containing the video and a description. This is a DVD ISO with some crazy stuff on it. It's a copy of a DVD I found sitting in the park on a bench. It was also posted on YouTube that very same day by a channel going by the name 8bix and titled In Binary Muerte or Death in English with a description also in binary translating to Te queda un años menos or in English you have one year less left. The video was also found to have been posted by a channel going by the name of Parker Warner Wright on September 30th, 2015, titled 11BX1371 with the description, Are You Listening? Now all of these titles were creepy and very weird for what it was. A man standing around in a video with weird stuff going on around him in a abandoned building and wearing a plague doctor mask. In October, when the video gained traction, Reddit did what Reddit does and went to work decoding the video and all of its secrets. When ran through a spectrogram creating software, the audio you heard in the video produced several images, one of a skull and encoded text. This led to further spectrogram images being discovered in the audio track, several pretty violent, 
that I won't be able to show here, but I will link to them down below as you know how YouTube is. The coded text in the video was made up of wingdings. Now that sounds kind of goofy for what it is, an extremely creepy video, but it's not what the person used to create their cipher text, but what it said, which was, strike an arrow through the heart of the eagle. At this point, people began to speculate on whether or not they meant the US and whether or not this was a threat. Further analysis came up with a Morse code sequence where the person in the video, as you could see, is holding a glove that is flashing. That flashing is Morse code. One of the sequences of Morse code read Red Lips Life Tenth. However, if you swap a character, it can actually be interpreted in a different way, which read Red Lips Like Tenth, the F swapping to a K, which has been noted as an anagram that I won't be able to say on YouTube as you know how it is, but it will be down in the description. Other sequences of numbers were decoded to be the geographic coordinates of the White House, and this furthered the speculation that it was a threat to the US president. Other pieces of ciphertext were discovered and decoded to mean, a new order is on the rise. You will join or you will fall. The virus has spread too far. It must be stopped. We will dike it at its roots. 13 Ani 50 will burn. And again, another reference to the United States, being 13 colonies, now 50 states. The, there was plenty of cipher found throughout this video, with other pieces saying things like, soon comes the fall, another great empire. The fall slash the eagle on the horizon. Join us. The eagle equals infected will spread his disease. We are the antivirus will protect the world body. The location in which the video was later discovered to have been filmed was a sanatorium in Otwok, Poland. Reddit continued to work on solving this mystery, but there still was a major question looming over the whole video. Who was the man in the mask? Some have theorized that it was Kroblicker of Gadgets himself, because the Reddit user Tropical Johnsons, who posted the link of the Gadget article to Reddit the first time, had also posted other Gadgets articles and bylines by Kroblicker. So I do think that Tropical Johnsons is Kroblicker, or it was potentially YouTuber 8bix, who had posted it earlier in its debut online. However, he claimed he received it from a girl who found it on a park bench. So the most likely explanation for 8bix is that he saw it on 4chan, posted it on YouTube, and wanted to play a good old 7 days game with people, and really was just aiming for a viral video. Krobaker, on the other hand, seemed like he used it to drive foot traffic to his small tech website. There was also another glaring reason I don't believe it's either of these two, and that's Parker Warner Wright. Parker was the third person to post it online before it came out on gadgets. He made claims later on down the road to Kroblicker and the Daily Dot that he was the creator, and its whole purpose was to be art. I don't know what is artsy about the video or if it was a scavenger hunt or what he was thinking, but it doesn't seem very artsy when you put it through a spectrogram and you're seeing images, violent images from movies and the Strangler in Boston? Yeah, not very artsy. Kroblicker posted a lot of convincing evidence backing up Parker's claim, including the fact that Parker had created the mask himself, and that's why people couldn't find the exact one anywhere on the internet or in any store. He also made claims to owning the glove and programming the flashing light set with an Arduino. A Twitter post from Parker's account on December 31st, 2015 said to prove that he was behind 11B X1371, the Plague Doctor video, he would release a new video on the Parker Warner Wright YouTube channel at a specific time. And well, he did. The video came out featuring the Plague Doctor yet again, this time titled 11B31369. Parker claimed in interviews with different publications that he originally released three copies of the video on May 9th. Two on DVD he left out in the open in Poland, one was on the metro and the other in a park. The third was released on 4chan. 
This also plays back into the person who had posted on 4chan originally, which adds believability to his story. However, was he just someone else who had seen it on 4chan like it seems with Mr. 8bix? We may never know. Granted, they did release the video on a timely manner like they said they were going to on Twitter. However, how do we know he wasn't working with someone? How do we know that he is really the plague doctor in the videos? Take all of these things as you will, but Wright seems to concede that he sent the DVD to Kroblicker. And even though they could potentially be the same person playing a game with the media and all of those on the internet, it seems for now that Parker is the Plague Doctor and has since released another Plague Doctor video on November 5th, 2016, right before the US presidential election. The second and third Plague Doctor videos never received as much attention as the first did, but people still dug into these videos as well and we will most likely cover them again in the future. It's been almost three years now, and since 2016, no videos, no more Plague Doctor, and we don't know what's going on with him. So the big questions I still have remaining. Was Parker a lone actor? Is he and Kroblicker the same person? Is he really the Plague Doctor? And will he post another video? Or is this the end of this mystery and of Parker Warner Wright? If you like this subject matter and want to see more, please like, share, and leave a comment. Riddles, Enigmas, and Mysteries of the Internet is something different for this channel. But I really did enjoy making this video and doing the research and everything that goes into these kind of videos. If you have any kind of subjects or things you'd like me to cover, please let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out the links I mentioned earlier in the video so you could see the things I couldn't say on YouTube, as well as the links to support the channel. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Remy.